YouTubers, and thank you for tuning in to the Dice of Facts review. Look where I'm actually reviewing at. Normally, I'm pretty much the person who tends to sit on the office chair saying that beginning, eh? But, because it's a bit early in the morning, I'm pretty much resting in bed, though. <laughs> but, yes, we're going to be taking a look at one of these um, Flip Flop Origami products, though, and it's this one here. In fact, I'm just going to grab the camera, like so. And it's a flip flop origami franchises, Penguin Cop World, Ninja Penguin Dojo Courtyard Training 12 pack set. It looks like a bit of a mashup between Lego Ninjago and Club Penguin, or maybe Teenage Nin Ninja Turtles. How about that one, eh? It's quite amazing. In fact, I need to go ahead and find a prop so that I can show you some of these beautiful penguins doing their great martial arts along the way. I'll be right back. And I put the camera down. And you know, it's funny, I don't often tend to make videos like this. <laughs> I don't know how sloppy it will get, but hopefully it won't. But you know what? It's going to be quite fun. Okay. Pretty much. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what that item was as a prop. And <laughs> why am I grabbing a freaking garage as a prop, though? Well, I just want it to pretty much use it as like a thing to stand the toys and to showcase the toys properly as well which sounds completely and utterly um, absurd but helpful in a very nice way um, let me just go ahead and show you what it looks like on the packaging eh? The product costs about 20 pounds as you can see there's some sort of weird dummy looking penguin I suppose it's a trainee dummy <laughs> Now, I can't talk that well though because it's pretty much early in the morning now. But, um, yeah, we've got some sort of weird mashup going on here. Like some sort of weird Kung Fu Panda vibe as well. And look at that, there's Sensei Penguin. Welcome, my student. Ready to train to save the world. Or save the world. <laughs> I'm not sure if I could pretty much, um, pretty much sound a bit Japanesey, but I'll have a go, eh? Are you also ready to define your true destiny? Welcome, my students. Ready to train to show the world? Oh, well um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing here, but I'm just practicing a bit of Japanese dialect there. What should I say? Accent. <coughs> but anyways, we've got some ninja stars. And there's that very important reading here. It says, Warning, do not throw at other people or animals as it causes pain and hurt. Now that, of all, is one of the most ridiculous reads I've ever seen in a flip flap product, but it makes total sense. Because if you start to play, you know, toys involving weapons, like shurikens, like a pair of shurikens, or I would just say a trio of so oh, uh, um, shurikens, so, according to, uh, well, Obviously, I can't say that much well, though, because <coughs> my voice cannot even, you know, be as active as I would literally thought. But, like, you know, well, let's just say about 12 p.m. I think 12 p.m. is like the time I normally get my voice a bit more earlier than usual. But yet again, that's just pretty much me reviewing this toy. And there's a very weird reading here. It says, Flip Flap's new toy range has got even newer. Now, to be quite obviously honest, <laughs> it has gone newer. Um, maybe it's not. And then we've got some sort of weird green ninja penguin. Maybe it's taking some sort of very weird inspiration from Legend Ninjago again. Maybe a bit of a very weird vague of Penguins of Madagascar, because I'm pretty sure he's doing like this sort of very weird pose where he's pretty much sliding down. While his belt flies around <laughs> like mad, and uh, it looks quite nice. Bit of a very Lego Ninjago sort of playset. Um, well, obviously it's a little bit like a Lego Ninjago playset because it's not really a Lego Ninjago themed playset play though. Well, anyways, <coughs> with my stupid throat happening all the time in every silly morning that I have to do, let's go down and practice. And see what things do we get inside. Strangely enough, though, as I'm pretty much attempting myself to make a very good video. Unfortunately, I can't make good videos these days. But, anyways, 
we've got some very cool items here, right? So here is the box, which in a sense is supposed to be Sensei's pillow. You know, Sensei can pretty much sit or sleep on it. As nice as this sounds. In fact, I've also got another um, Penguin Club World, which in a sense is basically a franchise that rips off heavily on the Club Penguin franchise. Um, I've actually got a few places coming in there. Like, I've got another uh, pack with four penguins and eight shurikens coming up there. It's going to be quite amazing, eh? And you'll be able to see what's coming up next, hopefully throughout the rest of this week. Ah, very beautiful detailing there. So let me show you the um, pillow, which in a sense looks more like this, rather than, you know, the ones which look like that. Okay, there's a Lightning McQueen sort of pillow though. As a bit of an example. And on the other side, it looks quite good though. There's Lightning McQueen pillow cover, eh? But we're not even going to be thinking about Lightning McQueen too much though, because I'm starting to think of penguins. And that's what this video is actually all about. <laughs> Sorry, cast fans. Hopefully, I don't get myself quite. How'd you say it? Uh, confiscated for offending the Cars fans. But anyways, let me just go ahead and show you the pillow design. It's got a bit of some sort of weird yellowish golden rod sort of colorization with brown lines in it. Eh? It looks pretty fancy. It looks quite nice though, even though it's a bit bland. And um, there's also like <coughs> some sort of walking stick, which is pretty much obviously used for Sensei. And you've also got a Sensei hat. And if I grab Sensei, he looks like he's got closed eyes. And his bag is all bent. That's not pretty much being fair, oh Sensei. I know you was a nerd, but you have to be fair. <laughs> As what all Senseis do. There you go, that's his um, beard. And that's the other side. There's also his beard. <laughs> And also, look at the eyes as well, though. Yes, the eyes, I know they're closer, but unlike many other penguins, he actually has distinctive eyebrows. As strange as this sounds, because normally in Club Penguin, or Penguin Club World, penguins don't really tend to have eyebrows a lot, though. No loss of sing info in all of these penguins, which pretty much makes it quite disappointing, eh? But nevertheless, it's a very nice toy, and in fact, to give it the very sensei look, though, I'm gonna go ahead and show you and how I'm actually gonna fit in there, eh? So if I turn the camera like so, eh? So this is Sensei becoming an actual Sensei. Wow! He, after doing so much hard work from like, what'd you say? A thousand years. Wow, I could tell you what, eh, guys? It looks like Sensei might be ready to train his ninjas. But I wonder how old Sensei is. We have no idea. And look at this! Oh! Oh no! Sensei, get up! Get back up there, Sensei! There you go. Um, I have to say, Sensei, you're really quite old, though. You really, you pretty much remember things easily, though. Because sometimes you would never forget when you're this old. You know? Because, you know, a lot of old people tend to forget sometimes, but... <laughs> the Sensei hat just keeps on falling apart. And I'm off the turn. Why is oh why in the flip? This is quite so hard. I eh? why in the flip is this so hard, eh? And um, there you go. There's Sensei Penguin, eh? Okay, that looks quite nice. Beautiful indeed. <laughs> I like it. And um, yeah, I love that Chinese Japanese sort of hat that he's got. Anyways, let's move away, Sensei, because we're going to take a look at the Golden Shurikens next. And they're actually quite essential for those penguin ninjas, or ninja penguins, or whatever I'm going to call them, eh? And, um, yes, I've actually made one of these models before, but in A4 style, but these are the small ones. Which, in a sense, remind me of how Lego Ninjago does their weapons so easily, eh? Yes, it looks quite nice. And, um, that's pretty interesting, I suppose, eh? This idea almost, you know, got my curiosity. Oh my goodness me, I don't know what I'm saying here, but... Uh, this idea of combining with penguins and ninjas made almost, you know, 
made it quite so well. It almost seems like that I was about to think that my curiosity almost killed the cat. <laughs> and then you've also has this sort of strange looking rug, which in a sense is a bit nice. It's not really that naft. A little bit naft, but in a nice way. Very nice fashionate sort of um, fringes on the rag or rug or mat, whatever we're going to call it, eh? It's sort of a bit of a plain Asiatic style uh, mat, which looks quite obviously interesting. Um, yeah, so it looks like it's almost about to fall apart my hands, but yet again, it's quite a nice looking mat. And you've also got like this sort of very interesting um, training dummy penguin, which looks like that. It looks quite cool indeed. Hooray! And, um, I have to say, it looks quite cool, eh? I wonder if I could pretty much. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. If I look at this dummy, though, closely, it actually reminds me of something of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Going by the turtle <laughs> colorization going on here. <laughs> and, um, yeah, there's the eyes. I mean, yeah, it's actually a dummy. It's not really, it doesn't have any. Facial expressions on it though, but um, <coughs> yet again, it's quite a good set. Um, yeah, it's um, it's actually quite nice. I would have never expected this set to be quite beautiful in a sense, eh? And then we've got three ninja penguins. We've got a blue one, of course, yes, which I presume it looks a little bit like Jay from Ninjago. I definitely say he has a very comedic sort of personality, though just to prevent anything bad. And yes, what we all know about ninjas is that they tend to have masks or bandanas on their head with those beautiful looking, um, how would you say it? Uh, bandana, how would you say it? Thingy bobs, I don't know what they're called on oh, those ninja. You know ninjas when they wear like ninja masks and ninja <coughs> bandanas, they've got like those on the back. I think there could be bandanas, but I might be totally wrong. Maybe they're knots. Or it could be something else. But this one looks quite nice. It looks like they're wearing a belt of some sort. If I grab each ninja penguin, it looks like they're wearing belts of some sort. Eh? Here's the green ninja. Well, looks like they. This could be Lloyd Garmadon. <laughs> Maybe I'm just thinking it's a little bit like how Club Penguin sort of got heavily inspired by the furry fandom and all that stuff. Which looks quite interesting indeed, and you know what? It looks quite spectacular to be quite obviously honest, eh? <laughs> I should actually say the word spectacular again because, um, yeah, my talking isn't that great, eh? But you know what? Looks quite spiffo in a very nice way. Hiya! Actually, I might grab the shuriken. As I'm now actually starting to feel a bit more enthusiastic, eh? <laughs> oh, thank God that um, penguin nearly um, attacked us with that beautiful golden shuriken of ours. And we've also got this brown penguin here, which, in a sense, it's quite interesting, eh? And uh, looks quite nice. And um, even though the belt's quite a bit strange, it looks like it's um, yeah, it looks like I initially thought the belt was going to be down there, like so. I should have used like a smaller pen. It actually is okay, even though the, the belt is part of the penguin now, which is quite strange, but yet again, it's quite a nice looking design. Um, yes, it's quite funny that <coughs> the belt is actually, uh, how would you say it, pretty much part of the penguin wing, which in a sense, it's actually moving away from the other black lines. But nevertheless, it looks like a great looking toy. Uh, you can't pretty much fault for that one, eh? Uh, but yet again, uh, maybe it could be some sort of weird fault, though. Uh, maybe I need to, um, um, maybe go a bit closer, eh? Yes, um, that's a bit of a mistake, though. Should have been a lot more, um, plain brown, though. I should have used, like, a smaller pen for the belt, but you know what? It's okay. Well, it's a very good mistake, if you know what I mean, eh? And um, because we've got gold, uh, oh, oh, just say uh, three of these gold shokins, I can actually plunk on one of the ninjas. Um, maybe I should stand the ninjas like so, eh? Look at that! There's some. It looks like they're doing some sort of weird heist. And that 
Ninja Penguin has actually uh, detached that shuriken. Oh, look at this, guys. This is like the good old days when everyone used to play Lego Ninjago. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This is pretty interesting, eh? Remember back in the good old days, you have to pretty much clip in, you know, Lego minifigures with weapons and stuff eh? like that one, eh? Like, <laughs> how about a Lego scissors? Like, you know, I could think of, like, a Lego molded scissors, you know, a toy plastic scissors, you know, in the style of a Lego minifigure item, where you can just, you know, plonk stuff like that, you can sort of use them as either tools or props or weapons. Yeah! Yeah! Whee! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it looks like the Ninja Penguins are doing some sort of weird heist, which looks quite cool, eh? And this penguin's actually quite hard to stand. Which, in a sense, it just doesn't want to stand. Ah, uh, but you know what? It's a right away. <laughs> Maybe it's because the show gets a bit too freaking heavy. Ah, oh, there you go. Maybe he's doing some sort of weird ninja kick. Yeah! Of some sort. And then we might also fit in the blue angle of the show, can I? And I suppose because they're ninjas, they should be working as a team. That's what Sensei does. Sensei means that ninjas never quit. There's that old saying in Legend Ninjago. And, um, yeah, it looks quite beautiful indeed. And, uh, looks like they're all getting ready so well. And, oh! Oh, curse you, you stupid brown penguin ninja. Looks like you tried to, um, I'd just say it. Assault one of your team members and whatnot, eh? And yeah, it looks like they're pretty much, well, having a good sort of conversation of theirs. Trying to find out where's Sensei. And they're trying to find out which enemy they have to defeat. Maybe some sort of weird, uh, mafia of polar bears? I can't really tell, eh? But you know what? They look quite awesome. In a sense, in the way they've been pretty much designed. And that blue penguin is taking a dive! Oh no! He's dropped the shuriken! Freaking heck! I didn't realise he dropped the freaking shuriken like that. That's not a good. That's a bit punch strong. And that's a bit. How would you say it? Sloppy. But you know what? I'm just gonna pretty much plunk that shuriken back on that blue penguin. Oh no! Oh no! It looks like the. Blue penguin has knocked down the green penguin, even though. Oh, look at that, he's doing his kick there. Uh, he didn't mean to. Um, but, anyways, look at that. Oh, no. One is. I've got a funny feeling that they're not really that great though at attaching other stuff, eh? You know, the um, penguins. You know, getting their own little pieces and whatnot, eh? Right? Oh, my goodness, mate. Look at that, they're sort of doing a dojo trait. Inning. Maybe they're fighting each other, eh? Just to practice themselves. I suppose, eh? Looks quite cool, I suppose, eh? And it's pretty hard indeed. I suppose ninjas may look quite sneaky, but they actually are pretty much here to save the world. Well, I have to say, that is a very nice scene, eh, with all these ninjas doing their dojo training like that. And it looks like these penguin ninjas are about to fall. Oh no, it looks like the blue one is dead. But you know what? He's actually not dead. Because penguins live forever. Well, I have to say, I love the fact we've got some ninja penguins, eh. And you know what? There could be some sort of weird... Hang on, fight, and guess who? I might probably do something quite hilarious, eh? Let's put Sensei Wu. Oh, wait, why do I call him Sensei Wu? He's actually not really Sensei Wu. Um, but that's how I sort of really want to call him, eh? <laughs> Sensei Wu from Legend and Jago as a penguin. I suppose if you're from the Kung Fu Panda franchise, I think the opposite of Sensei, well, another word for Sensei would also be Shifu. I suppose, eh? Oh. It's quite strange that that sensei hat just keeps them coming apart. And you know what I'm going to do next? As a bit of a very funny ending. And if you really enjoyed this video, guys, please give this video a like.
subscribe for more flip-flop YouTube videos in the future as I'm assembling this sensei penguin to do something really, really hilarious as something weird is going to be happening right? in this video as sensei is pretty much, well, peacefully relaxing. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now. And here comes the penguins trying to attack sensei. Oh no! <laughs>